Hello, YouTube fans. This is the Scar Clown. Let it burn. Let him burn. Let him burn. Let him burn. Let him burn. <laughs> so, this is my thoughts and my opinions on TLC. WWE's TLC. Yes, I watched it. And I thought I missed some stuff. But the only thing I missed was the main event. And I thought Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens was the main event. I literally, once the match was over, I turned it off. <laughs> Thinking that Randy Orton was a great why it already happened. Uh, damn, how naive I was. People were like, oh, that was the main event entry. I'm like, what? <laughs> Check that shit back. So I'm not going to talk about the pre-show. I'm just going to talk about the matches here. Um, I didn't watch the full match of Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles versus um The Miz. I know that it Miz cashed in and everything like that to make it more interesting and everything like that. Um, me, I wouldn't have Miz cash in. I would have waited. I should have just waited. Um, most people might be like, oh, the Miz is not really what he was in 2016. But to be quite honest, in 2016, he would have been perfect to win that WWE Championship. Now, not. But they could have they could have had it. But they didn't. They didn't pull the trigger. Who knows? Maybe since... since WWE is trying to like since USA Network is basically telling you um WWE to get like fucking like get mature literally you know so it might happen it might not so well this pay per view kind of proves that hey WWE's but like oh you want to enter your content oh here <laughs> but we get to that soon so I um it was not a bad match from what I saw literally because that's when the first match that I popped up and saw. And I saw um, Drew McIntyre try to grab the briefcase and all that. Then Miz was fighting back and everything like that. At first, I didn't really think about the Miz being there. I'm all like, oh, the Miz and shit. And then later on, I heard that, oh, he cashed in and shit. And I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's why he was there. Because it was supposed to be Drew McIntyre versus um, AJ. And just Alex said that it should have just been a regular match. I guess so. But you needed to have a TLC there, right? Or was it just a ladder match? I don't know. There was barely any TLC match in this, right? So... The next match, I believe, uh, wasn't it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I need to, like, go back and fucking see what I missed. Because I don't know what match came out next. This is what happens when you don't want to fucking write down shit. <laughs> Well, you don't want to write down anything. All right, then. Hold on. I'll pause it. I'll pause it. Okay. So, Sasha Banks versus Carmelo for the SmackDown Women's Championship. D to be honest, this match was actually good. Surprisingly, this match was actually not bad. I knew um, Charlie was going to win because obviously. But, you know, Carmella, obviously, she makes money. All right? M Mella makes money. We, we all know that. All right? I think we all know that. Mella makes money. Okay. And in in that in that day on TLC, she made money. <laughs> she did a good job. She did. She did a good job. Sasha, she did a good job. In a spiritual enlightenment way, though, I noticed that Carmella was wearing uh, that outfit that if you want to know deep down why they use panther polka dots and all that shit, it's... It's a uh, it's it's another sign for MKO mind control. It does that to you and it does that to her. So just for a spiritual enlightenment there. And Sasha, by the end of the match, it looks like her eyes looked at fucking weird when it showed on camera. I'm like, oh, are these oh, are these wrestlers showing their dark side now? Are they actually showing their possessed side? <laughs> so there's a little bit um spirituality right there. Of who these, don't, I'm just saying right now, they're not human, all right? Uh, I, even though I said that, hey, Hispanic people and black people, we're not human, we're Nagas. Them, they're, they're not Nagas or humans. They're, they're, they're something else, okay? So, um, but it was a good match. So, next up is the New Day versus the Hurt Business. I wasn't really in, 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 into it because I was, you know, I was actually playing, um... Either a Super Mario Maker or something like that. Oh, doing I was doing something. But I was looking back and forth and all that. And there were some spots. Really good spots, actually. And the... What is it? Yeah, the Hub Business actually won. Which I'm actually happy about. They won the Tag Team Champions. And I'm happy they won it. And they're right in front of freaking... 
all reptilian fucking all con Bobby Lashley. I made a whole video about that in my other channel of Bobby Lashley's eyes literally turning into Draco eyes. So, um, and WWE is like, oh, we need to take this out. Oh, no, I know what you're trying to do, WWE. You're trying to protect your superstars and shit. Superstars. <laughs> but, um, well, mostly pee off with our company, right? But, um, moving on. That is good. I'm happy the Hunt business got all the titles. I mean, come on. Nagas. We got all, all Nagas are fucking having titles, all right? I remember, I remember when... <laughs> I remember watching the the match, New Day versus the Hunt Business. I'm like, my God, they're making our brothers, they're making our brothers fight each other. Nagas versus Nagas. Like, ah, stop doing this to us. You tell me apart, Lisa. <laughs> but um, still not bad, not bad of a match actually. And I was expecting the New Day to lose eventually because why not, you know? And we um, I don't know what happened with Big E. Is Big E out of the New Day? Is he or is he injured or something like that? Either way, um, I'm just happy that um, that they, they lost the titles to the Hurt Business. I thought the Hurt Business should have got the titles a while ago, but you know what? Hypeness, you know, them eventually getting it. You know what? Them getting it now, I don't even mind it. You know, I wish it, it happened a little bit later, but, you know, I mean, earlier, not later, earlier, but whatever. It happens. Next was Naya. And Shayna Baszler versus Asuka and Woo! The returning Charlotte Flair. Woo! We already knew, we knew she was going to come eventually. I mean, when just Alex mentioned that she was going to come, I'm like, yeah. I mean, it, it's time. It's time for her to return in a way. She's been out for months and might as well bring her back because WWE is like, well, we have low ratings and shit. No one was not watching our show. Well, of course, no one was not watching your shit. So, and for WrestleMania, are we going to get Ronda Rousey versus Charlie Flair? Look, I want to mention something. When, when the whole when Becky when Becky Lynch versus um Ronda Rousey was going to happen, then they added Charlotte Flair in. I didn't mind. Why? At first, I was like, why they added Charlotte Flair? What the fuck? Look back at that match and tell me that Charlotte did not literally carry those two women. They did. Me and my sister literally looked at each other and we were like, that match should have been better than what it was. And yes, there was a fuck up this, obviously. But at the same time, when they had Charlotte, I mean, when they had Becky and um, Ronda trying to fight, it was, I didn't feel no chemistry. I felt no chemistry at all. But when Charlotte was there and fought either Ronda or Becky... Yo, I felt the chemistry. I felt the fucking, like, friction between those two ladies. You know? So, it's just me. And people like to point out that, you know, um, um, Ronda Rousey and, um, and, um, what is it? Becky Lynch is like Joker and Batman. Well, if that's true, then you know who Charlotte is? The Penguin. All right? She is. She's the Penguin. Let's not forget that the first Batman villain was the penguin, all right? Penguin is the is literally right next to the Joker, okay? Why do you think the, in Batman on um, what is it? Batman on um, Arkham Knight when you play as a Joker and then um Joker is wondering how people will feel like when everyone's dead. I mean, when not everyone's done, when he's dead, how people will react when he's dead. And everyone's just like, "Well, who cares about the Joker and everything like that?" That's what his worst fear is is being him, is him being forgotten. And the news basically saying that the greatest rivalry of all time is Batman and Penguin. And Joker was like, what? That's bullshit. It's me and Bats, you know, for example, you know. So um, that match was fine. You know, I knew Charlotte. I knew the team Charlotte and Oscar was going to win, you know. And um, I'm happy Oscar's still there. Kyrie Sane is gone. <laughs> ah, my Kyrie. She's gone. Uh, the next match is Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship, a TLC match. My God. I thought this match was not going to be as good. Yo, WWE, if you're not doing anything with Kevin Owens, this proves this match proves that you should fucking do something to him. Like, hype him. He doesn't have to win, like... Make, like, this guy literally proved that he can literally, is, is like, 
It's like if Austin and uh, what is it? It's like if Austin and what is it? Oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Damn, I forgot that superstar's name. That sucks. People are going to kill me. People are going to kill me. Um, fuck. Now, now I can't keep, now I can't put that comparison because I forgot the superstar's name. But it, it, it's it's like. This is what I wanted from Kevin Owens for a very long time. I don't know why WWE didn't want him to be like this and shit. And if this is what he's doing on his own, good. Good. Because this is what it should be. He should be like this. All right? Literally. You know? And the match was fucking brutal. They didn't have to do this. They didn't have to kill each other the way they killed each other. But they did. You know? And every time Roman was going down, I was expecting him span, um, about to stand up and, t- and attack KO and go like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You know how Roman Reigns is? He spears a guy, he's like, oh. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Are you Brock Lesnar now? I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. Go ahead. If you want to do it so people can laugh and be entertained by it, go ahead. Do it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the better expressions, the better, man. Hell yeah, man. I don't give a fuck. That shit's hilarious as all hell in my opinion. Um, That shit is really, really funny. But um, Gormy Reigns won. Gormy Reigns won the title. And you see Jay Uso, I believe, trying to interfere a couple of times. And um, Kevin Owens broke his legs. <laughs> KO broke his legs and shit. And obviously, he still got the... Obviously, he still lost from interference. But every time Roman Reigns kept knocking down KO, he kept getting back up. And Roman Reigns is just like... Uh, and I love the promo to this match. The promos to Roman Reigns matches, every time he... Every, every since he turned heel... Has been phenomenal. No point in taking for AJ Styles. But it has been fucking awesome. It's been amazing. Who has been... Like, WWE has been... Should have been doing this since either... He's beaten Undertaker. Or... When he won the Royal Rumble. And people booed the living shit out of him. And The Rock came in. And and people still booed. They should have done that. The next day on Raw. But no, they didn't. They waited. They waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited until a pandemic happened. And then they decided to do it. Imagine how the crowd would have been. Literally. My God, I started putting fake fucking sounds about crowds. Like, yeah, boo, yeah, boo. You you can literally hear it in the last pay-per-view that I saw. Literally, you can hear the, the the sound of the audio of the of of the crowd, um, tuning up, and I'm just like, this is so fucking goddamn fake. My God, Vince, shit, my God, that was one of the complaints I had with the um last pay per view. I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? The fuck is wrong with you, motherfuckers? But um, even though I barely watch WWE, like the shows and all that, I don't know if I'm going to watch it all today. I doubt it. But if I did, hell, I'll tell you much. I will want to see what the fuck's happening next with, you know, Oscar, Charlotte, you know, the, the New Day and the and, and the Hurt Business, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, you know, obviously Bray Wyatt and the Fiend, I mean, Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton, obviously I'll get to that later. And then obviously what I want to know more, you know, is obviously maybe AJ and McIntyre, well, obviously with The Miz also, and to see more with, What's going to happen with, um, you know, Carmella and Sasha, you know, um, because, you know, at, at the end of the day, Mella is money, you know, um, <laughs> uh, but, um, so that's it for the Roman Reigns and, um, Kevin Owens match, really good match, really good match, that, if there was a match that stole the show, it was that match, it was, it was that match, a show that was talked about is this next match. Roman Reigns, Randy Orton versus The Fiend. Now, I haven't been really a big fan of The Fiend. Like, I'm, 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 um, like I like The Fiend and everything like that, but I'm just not really hyped of what WWE has been doing with The Fiend and everything like that. But with this 
most people be like, oh, the Fiend lost and everything like that. Me, I don't care because he didn't pin or submit. He was catch on fire. Fire, fire. <laughs> I have the fucking hoodie and everything. Fire, fire. <laughs> oh, shit. But um, check out part two. I will talk about more about um, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. So, because of the time limit of the video here. So, uh, that, that second part will be all about Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. So, check out part two.